Greetings comrades, Soviet Gaming here. Isle of Gold is coming back to 8th Arena, but now it's a little bit different. Today I'll tell you what's the new things and how you have to adjust your strategy from the older videos that are still relevant, but you have to, well, adjust it to the new reality. But before we start, guys, I want you to subscribe in advance because that's a good content and I will thank you right now in advance for the subscription. Let's go. Alright, so it's on the test server right now. It will be on the global really soon. It will last 14 days as always, but there is a new thing that's called the morale. On a successful pillage, each morale point increased pillage resources by plus 15%. Current morale 5 of 5 and build structures on island to increase morale. Interesting, right? We'll figure out how it works as we go. Uh, moreover, I see the difference in the buildings. Now we have uh, 4 workshops and 1 stables. So we don't have the... Build, well, it's over here, it'll be here when we'll unlock the pillage, but yeah, basically uh, one stable and uh, one shipyard for the pillage attempts. Now let's get some rolls and see what the buildings are. Same stuff, we have only four resource buildings available and uh, I would recommend building the top ones, Diamond Mine, Guild Exchange, Labyrinth and Poor Exchange, maybe, maybe some Essence, up to you. But yeah, those are the top ones, but the everything, everything covered in the previous guides, you know that. But the new thing, defensive buildings, yes, same stuff, but in the end we have the Fountain of Blessing. Blesses a specified hero and you can build only one of those. What does it do? For each point of morale, pillage loot plus 1%, at the highest uh, level, plus 2 morale for each blessed hero deployed. Well, we can switch positions with, with the buildings a bit later, I think, so let's build it right now and see how it works. Not everything is translated here, as we can see, I think. I know that we will get plus 1% loot, so it was 75, now it's 80% bonus. And I think we will get it by default without, without even stepping on it, we will see. Um, we'll come back to it a bit later, I might actually edit it over here, because I have no idea how we get specified hero. Alright, we leveled up Fountain of Blessing to level 5, and here we can select the type of the heroes that will get the blessing, intelligence, agility, or strength heroes, so that's pretty cool, since I'm mostly using Ein's team, that's Ein's and uh, Rowan, for example, and uh, who else, we have uh, Merlin there as well, so that's 3 intelligence hero, and that will be 3 times to 6 additional morale, that's double the amount of uh, loot, uh, that's triple the amount of current loot, so we will go with the intelligence one. Anyway, let's get some more rolls, build some stuff, and uh, we'll go back to something new when it will happen. Oh yeah, guys, I haven't noticed, it's new buildings. So this tower was supposed to lower the dice rolls, but now it's lowering the morale when enemies are defeated. And it have to be right next to the building, so max health of garrison force within one adjoining tiles, plus to 5%. If resource building within one tile is successful, defended the pillager loses 3 more. And level 5, if resource building within one tile is successful, defended, so it doesn't get increased range. What about other buildings? Energy tower is the same, radiation tower is different as well, Omnios towers is different, Tablet of Death is different as well, so it's all working with the morale right now. This is a good one. Table, tablet of Death. When stepped on, the, pill, uh, the pillager will lose morale. Just because of being stepped. They don't have to win or lose. Inertia Stone is different now. It will uh, limit the maximum amount of rolls. It won't subtract it. And this will lower the cursed hero's morale. So it won't kinda remove it from the battle altogether. Interesting. This one is the same, I think it kinda adds attack rating and uh, pillage rolls. Uh, energy flower, when pillaging your morale won't drop below 4, that's very low morale, or not, nah, 5 is the maximum, interesting, below 8. Uplift, max morale plus 4, cannot stack. This is pretty cool, so now all of those things are kinda useful, so the defensive uh, strategy will be different. Alright, I'll try to come up with a better defense strategy and I think I'll put it in the different video. Right now we're just covering the morale aspect and defensive stuff will be unlocked later. Anyway, let's move on and build some buildings. Okay, I want to put some tablet of that early on that will allow enemies to lose morale and loot less. We'll place some mines in the end as always and defend them with the proper towers. Alright, as you level up, your maximum morale will increase. So, I got to level 1, now I have 6 morale and I think I will unlock pillage now. 
Not yet. Alright, we have pillage unlocked finally somewhere in the middle of level 1 and uh, I wonder like if all those bonuses that I have are permanent and like they won't disappear and if the morale will be lowered for a while. So let's go try to attack someone and see how it will go. After that we'll defend our own base. Alright, so we start with I think this is inertia stone so now we shouldn't be rolling high <laughs> ah, th this is low level ones so they don't really work yet so we can get the maximum roll right now we missed we got the enmity stone uh the cursed hero can be picked in the stone all right so that's where i didn't understand that <coughs> getting debuff from that uh, this one of death whatever thingy and we're fighting uh, let's go einstein Let's see if our team will be able to deal with theirs. I'm really curious, they should be higher level. Yep, we won. That's nice. Oh my god, it's so loud. So we didn't lose anything. And our morale should stay high. There we go, the bonus is 108% right now, so instead of 56 we got 61 extra, so that, that doubled the loot, that's really good. Now the next fight, let's go and see if we will lose here. Yeah, we lost, so I'm curious what will happen now. We lost, we got some debuffs, but our morale stayed the same, so we didn't lose anything. And, well, it didn't matter at all. So, right, the pillaging is completed and triumph the bonus from the Fountain of Blessing is active all the time. So, you don't have to step on it, you know, in order to get it. And the attack bonus from this flower is active as well. So, unlike before, I think that you don't have to step on it in order to get the bonus. Maybe those level 5 and 10 ones. So, let's give one more run. And, yeah, we're out of moves, so we can't do anything else at the base. We can just secure it with some heroes and hope that it will be enough. So yeah, that's an interesting concept of morale and uh, basically right now Isle of Gold, they motivate pillaging way more. Before that you were like, ah, I can just leave it as it is and get the passive rewards, get the, you know, AFK income. But now, um, because of the bonus of 100% on the basic 6 morale and then if you use the right heroes it will be like 100 more, 3 times more loot, that's a lot of pillaging loot. Guys, that's a lot of stuff that you will collect over time. I already got 184 diamonds. Not telling about the dust and everything else. So that's some good source of income right now for your progression. Now, the rewards. The rewards. Uh, you have the basic rewards that are being awarded for your uh, island level, which is being increased for the buildings. And you can get extra rewards by paying money for it and uh, those are the ones on the right and you can get 10 time emblems here sadly we will get only 10 stargazer scrolls which is not that bad as well so you know the rewards here are pretty decent sadly free to win is blowing its way into the game everywhere and that's sad but yeah as free to play you can still get some stuff out of it and we happy about it i guess let me know what you think about happiness as free-to-play player in the comments i think i'm about to rant about that because as a free-to-play player i'm getting really really unhappy with what's happening in the game so yeah the basic stuff is uh, the idea of defense defense is still the same you slow the enemies down early on and then you kind of put the traps and then you get into the fight with the enemy oh by the way the pillage amount per day is like Limit is lower, it's now, now it's two pillages instead of three, so it's lower. And yeah, after that I would advise building the um, resource buildings later when the enemies will, will accumulate those debuffs from going through this. Moreover, it will be lower roll, so you can use those uh, towers that kind of lower the morale for a lower amount of rolls. But I don't know if it's actually worth it to diff and that much. Like, do you actually lose your loot when the enemy is pillaging you? What's happening? I don't know, I'm not being pillaged yet. And don't forget that you can always, if you're out of uh, stuff, you can modify stuff around, you can change the placement of the buildings to make it right, so don't worry about that too much. And of course, if you don't, ha don't have enough uh, powerful heroes, uh, help your allies, get the formation and support them, put that in their islands when they want to, and ask for your allies to get extra defense, like Peon did over here, and put his Ainz team over here, and uh, Alna team over here, that will help me to defend this island because I am a noob on the test server and I don't have enough good heroes. And I'm really curious how 
every time the Isle of Gold event is happening, it's all, always changing. Before that, like at the start, it was mostly balanced. Then they changed the defense, the, uh, the successful defense will buff your island bonuses, something that will give you more income. Now they changed it to the offensive one, so now you have to pillage the enemies, and that will give you more loot. So maybe next time we'll get the both mechanics, so we will get the pillage bonus, the morale, and the defense bonus. So more complexity means. Uh, more players can get more of that. So basically, if you don't want to do pillaging, you can get bonuses from the defense. You can play defensively. If you like pillaging like I do, you can get bonuses for that as well. So, you know, I'm wondering how it will end up. Let me know what you think about the current changes in the comments. If you have any extra ideas about that, let me know there as well. Um, as for the defense video, I think, like, I'll keep it like that. If there will be new thoughts about that, I'll obviously make a video for you guys. But for now, that is it. That's how I would recommend to defend your base, building defensive stuff over here and fortifying your resource gaining, gaining buildings with the proper towers next to that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like the video. I know that uh, a lot of you watching this channel without a subscription, please subscribe. That will help a lot. And uh, hit that bell button if you want to, so you won't miss any new videos. I'm doing my best to deliver the best content for you, so I hope you guys appreciate it. And yeah, check the pinned comment in the video description for the links. We have the Discord link there, we have more playlists for AFK Arena, we have social media, we have TikTok. Now I have a TikTok for mobile games. That's weirdest thing i ever did so i hope you guys will check in over there follow me and drop me a comment because i'm really really shy about making the tiktok because yeah i'm too old for that shit <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching guys that's about it for now so that out this video